Welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 6, today verses 8 to 11. Jesus went into the synagogue. There's a man with a withered hand. The scribes and Pharisees are there already taking notes. They're going to check and see if Jesus, oh no, if Jesus will heal this person on the Sabbath so we can accuse him. Let's see what Jesus, and Jesus knows all about it. Let's see what happens. We're going to read verses 8 to 11. But he knew their thoughts and said to the man who had the withered hand, Arise and stand here. And he arose and stood. Then Jesus said to them, I will ask you one thing. Is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do evil, to save life or to destroy? And when he had looked around at them all, he said to the man, Stretch out your hand. And he did so, and his hand was restored as whole as the other. But they were filled with rage and discussed with one another what they might do to Jesus. So now here's the reaction. Now Jesus knows they're there to accuse. He knows that if he heals this guy on the Sabbath, there's going to be a price to pay. They are going to, you know, the word's going to go out that he's a bad guy. But Jesus isn't going to let this fellow go away without being healed. It's the Sabbath. What better time to be healed than the Sabbath? The seventh day Sabbath. And so Jesus brings him up to the middle. He's going to, he's not going to, he's sort of doubling down, I guess we would say in our modern uh, way of talking here. Jesus brings him up to the middle and he's going to heal him right there, right in front of him, right on the Sabbath day. But before that, he asks the question, right? I will ask you one thing. So, you know, put on your, you know, turn the crank, use some reason here. And here's the reason. Is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do evil, to save life or to destroy? And they are not going to give him an answer. They're just going to stand there like, like ugly bumps on the log. They're just looking at Jesus. He's looking at them. And they are unwilling to commit themselves. They don't like the question. They don't like the end. They don't even want to think about the answer. So Jesus just has him stand up and he heals him right there on the spot. What do they do? They go out to with rage. They're filled with rage. And they discuss what they might do to Jesus. When you go to a parallel account in the Gospel of Matthew, you find out that they went out to see if they, they could apollo, they could destroy Jesus. And so they, Jesus nailed them. He just absolutely nailed them. Is it better to save life or to destroy? Jesus comes into the synagogue. He saves life. He heals. He heals the withered hand. They leave the synagogue that morning ready to destroy Jesus, ready to kill and not only that, they're doing it on the Sabbath. I mean, like, it would be bad on any day, but on the Sabbath, it's even more wrong because that's a day for healing and connection. So anyway, there you have it. They went out filled with rage, and they have a lot to talk about because they want to take Jesus and take him down. That's what happens when you preach the truth. But Jesus is going to preach the truth anyway. Let's pray. Father in heaven, there's uh, so many pieces here, Lord. There are one example for us is to teach the truth anyway. Do it with grace and might. Try to engage people. Try to help them to think rationally, as Jesus did in this case, but still to do good on the Sabbath. Lord, give us wisdom, wisdom for each case, so that we'll know exactly how you'd have us to act for your kingdom. May we be a blessing to others on your blessed day. That's our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. May the blessings of Jesus be upon you throughout this day. I'm sure that's what Jesus wants. God bless you.